I think that there has been an element of collusion between the scientific community advising government and politicians. The scientists have wanted to do well by government. They've understood that there's an economic context in which they're giving advice. And what that has led to is... Wait a second, an, an economic pulling context. Pulling punches. That is an extraordinary claim to say that the scientists aren't speaking for themselves and for their discipline when they are advising the government. Go back and look at the SAGE documents that are posted on the government's website and you'll see the scientists were struggling to try and balance what the evidence was showing from their modelling with the fact that there could be dire economic consequences.